Welcome back. This is going to be my daily forecast of the U.S. indexes. Uh, we will start with the S&P 500, and the Dow Jones, and then the Nasdaq. And if you like to support this channel, you're welcome to subscribe, hit the bell button and the like button. Uh, and do please share these videos if you would uh, like to help us grow this channel. So let's go to and see what the S&P 500 is uh, like today. So as you can see, we have a uh, Quite a bullish run today. The S&P 500 is up around 1.22%. Uh, and at this point, we are trading above the 50 moving average. And if we manage to close above the 50 moving average and have an additional green candlestick above here, then that is a really, really good sign that we'll go and test this area here of, uh, of, um, of resistance. And if we get through that, we'll go to the all-time highs. We'll probably see a lot of choppiness as we did uh, earlier today, mainly due to the uh, horrible presidential debate yesterday. And that is something that uh, most likely will affect this market um, a little bit. There will, of course, be some noise because we'll have, uh, well, if it's similar to yesterday, a lot of bad news. Uh, but it looks like the market is mainly ignoring the uh, political situation in the United States. It was expected for this market to to uh, basically turn around um, because the, the political system doesn't really reflect stability at the moment, and this market like uh, these markets like stability. So, but. It is basically brushing off the debate yesterday uh, and it's going higher. Probably one of the reasons as well is because the US dollar is de depreciating today and that is of course quite, uh, that is bullish for this market. If you look at the technical indicators, the MACD is about to cross the signal line indicating higher, uh, higher price levels. The RSI is also looking really nice and uh, also the stochastic. So, we will most likely go to for 3,400. If we break that, then we'll go to the all time highs. We'll probably be a lot of choppiness, but we'll get there uh, eventually. Uh, if we break down, then of course the 100 moving average down here at 3,200 will be significant support. So look at the Dow Jones. Very similar here, we have broken through this uh, trend line, which I wrote yesterday, and there's no point of, in basically looking at that anymore. Uh, at this point, we're trading way above the, the 50 moving average, which is a really encouraging sign for, for the Dow Jones. And also the technical indicators are looking very bullish today. We are about to cross the signal, signal line indicating bullish momentum. Uh, we have a lot of uh, resistance in this area here. You can write it up around that area there. If we were to break through that, then we, there's nothing stopping us from getting to these highs again. We are still trading below the old time highs of, uh, of 30,000, nearly 30,000. Uh, and But at this point, it looks like we have we have managed to to uh, get enough momentum to at least get to this level of uh, 29,000. Um, if you get to 30,000 at the same time, probably, uh, this looks like, like uh, we are basically going much higher. This looks like uh, the, the lows of this market at the moment. Um, and also the technical indicators are indicating that we are going to these highs. If we were to break down from here, for whatever reason, the US dollar uh, appreciating, for example, then the 100 moving average is uh, the probably the best opportunity you'll get to enter this market. So if you look at the NASDAQ, it is also trading above the, the 50 moving average, so it has become uh, support now rather than resistant. The technical indicators are looking really um, nice for the NASDAQ. 
at this moment we have some resistance in this area here of 11,500. If we were to break through that, then we'll go to the all-time highs. If we were to break down uh, from uh, this 50-moving uh, average, then we'll probably go towards these lows at uh, um, 10,670. And then we also have this 100-moving average right underneath. It was expected for the Nasdaq to go all the way down to 10,000 level, but um, the market has basically canceled that. It doesn't look like we are going to break down uh, significantly more uh, at this point, and we will most likely go a lot higher. Um, yes, that is for our analysis for that uh, US dollar indexes. And if you like to support this channel, you're welcome to subscribe and uh, hit the bell button and the like button. And do please share these videos or this video. Um, good luck and um, happy trading. Thank you.